Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Greg. I want to go over the uh, markets again, just give you guys an update what I'm looking at. I'm actually, uh, I'm kind of a surprise what everything is going on right now. And I expect all this dumping to be going on between now and the uh, New Year's. I was expecting it to happen after New Year's. I'll show you what I'm talking about in just a second. But I mentioned the uh, Bitcoin historical uh, volatility index um, in the previous video. And I wanted to show you that with the uh, evidence here in this chart. And you can see right here that this is the lowest uh, volatility back there. It looks like right around the uh, 19th to the 26th of December. So in a recent time, it's the lowest volatility that it ever has, which was right here. And that date is the 22nd of October, 2018. And most of you already know what happened in after December of 2018 was that uh, bear market bottom. And then it was off to the races after that. Okay. So same thing over here. I wanted to show you guys that stuff. Now, the other thing that I'm doing is I'm just going through uh, everything. And um, the miners, once again, are getting hammered. Um, Clean Spark is down 5%. Uh, Mara is down 1.8%. And Riot is down 2.63%. So they, in my opinion, just looking at them, the miners right now are really uh, capitulating. Uh, which ones are not going to make it? Who knows? Or maybe they'll all make it. Don't know. But it just, they are just going down, down, down. So good, in my opinion, because it, it's sooner to just get this over and done with and get the uh, bottom forming process going with uh, Bitcoin and the cryptocurrency market, including the, uh, the you know, the S&P and stuff like that. But I'm not going to go over that in a second um, right now with that. Okay, so. The other thing is I want to go over uh, MicroStrategy once again. And MicroStrategy is actually looking pretty good because here is the uh, number. Um, I wanted to see it break first, which was the 143, 40, uh, 143, 144, which is right there. Okay. So, and MicroStrategy came down, I think, to 141. And now the next one, I really want to see it break. This is a 135. So, if you're a long-term micro strategy holder right now, hey, sorry about you, but I'm looking out for the followers on my channel. They're looking for the bottom. We get this bottom, start making gains. Unless you're short in micro strategy, you can. It's a very volatile asset. Unless you're shorting this down, then that's a different story for you. But get it down here into this box, okay? Maintaining preferably, you know, the the base is uh, 89 to $90, but right in this area. So it's probably about halfway to that box. And then this this is going to be really good for uh, for micro strategy. Like if you're going to be looking for the play on it, we'll be down here for it to get out of there on that bullish divergence. You can see from here, you see this to here to here. If it's lower in price, you'll have a massive amount of bullish divergence telling you there's a reversal coming over there for a nice play. And this micro strategy, guys, look, this thing will whiz. Um, you take a look right here on this bounce. It went up. 141% right down that bounce, you know, so I want to um, consider that for you. I'm going to go over Bitcoin too, guys. It's looking like, uh, you know, Bitcoin is probably just going to grind its way down there, or maybe it's making some waves and then make a thrust down there. But uh, in my opinion, you know, as long as if Bitcoin keeps just making its way down there and goes sideways and gets down there, in my opinion, I think it looks pretty good. Uh, personally, just be nice to drop and get it over with. You know, just dump and be done. But more likely, it's not. These these uh, descending wedges can take a long time. They just sit in there and grind, especially at the end of them. They just sit there, sit there, sit there, sit there. And you just, you, it starts like uh, sometimes you're in there with the, and this is a big one. It could take a while, but it's just going down, down, down. And you're thinking that, is it going to just continue sitting there? And then one time it just pops out of there, you know, it hits and then it pops. So that's what I'll be looking for with uh, Bitcoin, guys. Um Otherwise, I was looking at some other charts, too, I'm going to go over with you guys. And it's looking like the same thing for GBTC. I'm going to go over GBTC. It's going to dump. I was suspecting. Okay. Usually, this front runs uh, Bitcoin. So, if you see this dump, then Bitcoin will probably dump like a day or two later uh, or next week, as an example, is usually what I see what happens. But get it down here onto that trend line, like 727, and uh, be looking for it finishing up something in that area with GBTC guys is what I'm kind of checking out with this uh, this asset. I do have it in a descending wedge. It's actually not a descending wedge. It's one, two, three, four, and it's coming ever grinding down in this fifth wave right here. 
taking its time and slowing up in momentum. Um, the other one I want to go over too is the uh, Ethereum. Just show you proof that I think that this uh, this asset's coming to a bottom. You cannot use this asset uh, as uh, um, as against Ethereum because it'll it'll dump when Ethereum is not dumping. So what I mean is that even though this might trend up, um, if you look right here, this this asset dumped um, this amount when Ethereum actually was trending up. So it's an unreliable indicator to say if this is going up, Ethereum is going up. But I just look at it, study it a little bit sometimes. And I think uh, this box area is a bottom that's coming up to form in this area right here. So with micro strategy looking like it's coming to the target box, um, Ethereum, grayscale, potentially, Bitcoin, grayscale, potentially. And that probably means somewhere along the lines with Bitcoin, let me go back here to Bitcoin that it's going to grind its way down there and form that area for either a bottom or a reversal. And looking at this too, maybe a little bit more time on the volatility index, kind of just putting some things together for you guys. I wanted to share that with you, what I'm looking for. This is actually, I think this is nice that uh, it's actually doing this. The markets are doing this right at this time right now. So, and I think it's grinding down a little bit slower because of, uh, just not many uh, people out there right now. Everybody's on like Christmas or holidays right now until after the New Year's. So maybe after the New Year's, it finishes it off um, going to the first or second week of January, third week of January. So everything looks good to me, guys. I'm actually looking forward to what 2023. I know a lot of other people out there on the uh, mega YouTube channels and in the uh, mainstream media. Recession is coming. And we are all so screwed. We're all going to lose money, right? Well, while they talk about that, I'll be planning for a little move like that, okay? That's all that I need, personally, and you'll be able to rip in some other assets. If you made it all the way to the end, do me a huge favor. Drop a like. Hit the subscribe button. Peace.